experts representing countries from Europe and Central Asia gathered at St. Stephen's University on the 4th and 5th of December 2013 in Hungary to discuss the opportunities of regional collaboration in the field of research, extension and agricultural innovation, capacity development and other sectors of knowledge generation and sharing. Participants discussed the conclusions and recommendations in the Food and Agricultural Organization Regional Office on the 6th of December. The workshop was opened by Mr. Zoltan Kalman, Head of the Foreign Relations Department of the Hungarian Ministry of Rural Development, Ms. Navina Alexandrova, Agricultural Research and Biotechnology Officer of the FAO Regional Office for Europe, and Ms. Henrietta Nige, Vice Dean for International Relations of the Faculty of Economics and Social Sciences of St. Stephen's University. The opening was followed by self-introduction of participants and keynote presentations by the representatives of several organizations. The first presentation was provided by Ms. Alexandrova, Agricultural Research and Biotechnology Officer of the Regional Office of FAO. She covered key issues about the need to share knowledge, the Agricultural Innovations Model, basic concepts including knowledge, information and knowledge sharing methods as well as FAO approaches, resources, tools and examples. Ms. Venera Zakharova, Regional Partnership Development Officer of the Regional Office, presented FAO's Partnership Strategy. Partnerships make it possible to mobilize the best available knowledge and capacities and provide the most effective services in working toward common goals. Ms. Henrietta Nige, Vice Dean for International Relations, introduced the Faculty of Economics and Social Sciences of the University, presenting the history, faculties, features and courses of the University. She highlighted the role of the faculty in the Hungarian higher education. The international knowledge management activity was demonstrated in relation to special courses offered to foreign students. Ms. Orsa Jatot of the National Innovation Office of Hungary presented the COST Action, which is the first and widest European framework for transnational coordination of nationally funded research activities to strengthen Europe's research capacity and support cooperation between researchers. Participants had the opportunity to jointly visit some interesting sites of the host university. The Vice Dean spoke about the collaboration between FAO and the University. The University and the FAO uh, has had a very long-term uh, cooperation. The agricultural sector and the agricultural education is very important to St. Istvan University. And when the FAO opened uh, its regional office in Budapest, it was a very big step forward in this cooperation. The university provides education, uh, can provide and can offer uh, courses to students, uh, especially for master course students, and the FAO encourages uh, the developing countries to catch up with the developed uh, ones, and with the help and the, with the support of the Hungarian government. I hope that this uh, relationship can be developed and improved in the future. We happily participate in such kind of workshops and uh, provide information about our research results which we hope that will contribute much to the development of the whole uh, FAO profession. The workshop was jointly organized by GAC, the Agri Business Center of the University and the FAO Regional Office. Gödel University and GAC uh, our partner since many, many years in knowledge sharing and agricultural innovations. So we had no doubts that uh, this should be the proper place. 
And also in future, we would like to strengthen those relationships. And actually what we would really like to, to happen during these days and of course later on is to strengthen the partnerships between actors here in the workshop and also in the countries of the different participants. But uh, what we are able to do here on the workshop is to provide participants with many options, basically from EU funding and uh, also different initiatives from FAO and other organizations. So probably uh, we can achieve this goal as well. Hungary has a long history of collaboration with the FAO. From 1996, the sub-regional office for Central and Eastern Europe was established in Budapest. It worked uh, efficiently and as a result, and also as a result of uh, coordinated diplomatic efforts. In 2007, Hungary had the possibility to host the FAO regional office for the whole Europe and Central Asia. In addition, uh, we are privileged also to host the FAO Shared Services Center. This FAO Shared Services Center provides administrative services for the whole organization all over the world. The FAO's new partnership officer, Ms. Zakharova, emphasized the strengths of the region. Partnership with uh, the whole sector of society, civil society organization, non-government organization, private sector. This is the most important in our uh, day's uh, partnership to eliminate hunger and uh, to reduce poverty. Our office actually works for the European Central uh, countries and also Central Asian countries. What the strengths? Because these countries develop a unique knowledge and the capacity and the unique skills in food production. So we need to think and we need to use that knowledge and capacity and capitalize on that and use our strengths and our joint force to work on food production and food security in the region. Participants discussed the conclusions and recommendations of the meeting in the building of the FAO Regional Office in Budapest. Dobe, I'm coming from Albania. I represent here uh, an organization working in rural development. 
first of all, I would like to thank the organizers uh, and also FAO in general uh, to approach uh, uh, people also to come here to interact, to discuss the important issues. It was very important to understand, to see from different angle that those who are producing the agricultural innovation knowledge has to be oriented to consumers, to farmers, to researchers, to extensionists. And so from this point of view, we have to renew our vision on what we are doing in agriculture research and innovation. I, I represent here the ESCORINA, it means European System of Cooperative Research Networks in agriculture. The, the main uh, product uh, which we offered is the scientific bulletin of Escorena, which uh, provides forum for uh, the pub publication of scientific papers as well as market reviews for, for diversified uh, research networks. Uh, as a new organization, uh, Eurasian Center for Food Security, uh, it was interesting for me to know uh, what kinds of uh, interaction we could establish between uh, networks in Central Asia and uh, Middle and Eastern Europe. I consider this a, a good chance so to meet different people, different stakeholders and, and uh, um, friends, let's say, because during these three days we established friendship and the last day was a summary, let's say, of, of this work we have done and we feel now uh, in a community of people that want to develop uh, pure communities and help uh, improving uh, livelihood in, in each country.